When uh, Dave and Greg approached me about Mortgage Coach, the thing that uh, attracted me the most to this company was you guys. The raving fans, the folks who have been members, who understand the philosophy that Mortgage Coach has been trying to teach and inspire the market to adopt. And you guys have been the folks who have been on the front lines living and breathing that philosophy. So I appreciate you being here. Because what we're unveiling today, what we've built, what we've constructed as a company, is a direct result from the hard at work and efforts of you to provide a better consumer experience, to provide a, a more integral uh, a component of the loan process by, by upholding the values that we stand for as financially sound decision-making professionals. And it's interesting when you think about you know, the, the role that technology plays in the professional space. I mean, you can look across and see the change in business from the 80s, the 90s, the coming of the emails, and the coming of this global communication and the connectivity. But all of it, uh, everything that we've adopted, smartphones and iPhones and you know, Androids, these are all based on us being able to deliver better service us being able to do our jobs better. This is not about so the neatness and nerdiness of sending data over the cloud. This is about being able to connect with other people who want your valuable services better. So when you think about technology, technology is always the result of a breakthrough. It's always the result of some overcoming of a major obstacle. And the definition of breakthrough is significant or sudden advance in development, achievement that removes a barrier to success. So when I came into Mortgage Coach, all the ingredients for breakthrough were there. We had Analyze, we have total cost analysis, we have all this capability of delivering intelligence and intellect to, um, to, cons to consumers and to people nationwide. But whenever you talk about breakthroughs, you always have to figure out how can you apply it to the mass scale. You know, you had these tools, you had Analyze, you had all the capabilities, but why aren't all of the organizations using why aren't you using it on every loan scenario that you're doing all of these things come from ease of access the in to um, bringing these types of tools and technologies into our lifestyle so when you think of the american consumer some of the examples i have on the board right now air travel contact lenses cell phones these are all things that are results of technological breakthroughs that, that are applied to everyday life and so when you think about the professional aspect we have the same uh, concept here, no different than the, the, the challenges of making it across the country, no different than the challenges of seeing without glasses, no less uh, spectacular than the challenge of talking to somebody wirelessly from one end of the country to another. We, in our little profession here, we have a set of challenges that's unique that requires a breakthrough for us to overcome. We've got confusion in the marketplace. We've got new regulation. We've got underwriters that put every viable challenge between us and closing the loan. This is a massive amount of weight for us to carry as professionals. And we can look across our professional network and we can see that for some loan officers, <laughs> <laughs> these bricks were too much to bear. They're not in the market. They're collapsed. They're gone. They're out of here. Okay. Well, what that means for us is actually pretty good. I mean, you guys are all still in the industry, right? I mean, 2006, 2007, you know, Dave put that year up there, makes us, gives us the heebie-jeebies, right? I mean, what a crazy year. But we know that where there is demand, there is opportunity. That is the reason that people came out here for the gold rush. That is the reason that we've colonized the planet. That's the reason, that's the motivator. When there's something there, when there's value to be had, we can reach out and grab it. And so as originators today, there has never actually been a greater opportunity. It, unless anyone here knows, I don't think any consumer all of a sudden has a money tree growing in their backyard and they're going to be able to buy their house with the cash that's, that's the fruit of that tree. It's not going to happen. The American consumer is going to need dollars to buy a home, period. They're going to need somebody to help make that happen. That's not going away. Bank of America is not all of a sudden a drive through lender. We're not uh, having people press two buttons and the money appears. We are that, that bridge. Okay. So when we think of the role of the mortgage professional, we are providing that insight, that incredible experience that is crucial within that buying transaction. But how can we improve that? How can we go beyond some random emails? How can we go beyond a conversation on the phone? That's what we're here to do. We're here to evolve that contact. We're here to evolve that conversation with the consumer. That's the root of edge. Not just to close more business, not just to get more loans, but to change that initial conversation that you have. Your phone rings. It doesn't matter where that lead came from. You guys are spending dollars on direct marketing, or you're spending dollars on yellow pages, you're spending dollars wherever your marketing dollars are being invested. But once that phone rings, that investment is over. Now it's on you. 
Now it's on you to turn that person into a closed loan, turn that opportunity into a deal. And what do you do? Well, when we look at, a lot of you guys here are managers, so put on your manager hat for a minute. Take off your self-producing hat and think about your team and when they're uh, approaching consumers and what are they saying during that initial call. Don't be embarrassed if you don't know because most managers that hire loan professionals, they don't focus on their knowledge of this great customer experience. They focus on their knowledge of are you licensed, have you done your NMLS training, are you here to be in the business. They don't really focus on that customer connectivity part. But really think about it. Where does the consumer make the decision if they're going to work with you or work with someone else? Well, it really is. They decide to make that commitment in that very first phone call. So when you survey consumers, when you look at their buying behavior, and there's studies upon studies of this, it's not isolated to the mortgage industry. Uh, the consumer's first interaction with a professional salesperson, 90% of the time determines if they're going to work with that person or not. So that first phone call, when you're in the car and things are noisy, or you're in front of your computer, and this guy's just not worth the, the time because you're trying to do a closing, when you're trying to speed through that conversation, you're alienating consumers. Your team is alienating consumers. So that being said, let's not focus on the negative, let's focus on the positive. But consumers today are not really that difficult of animals. I mean, they really just need to be wowed. They just need to be impressed by you. I mean, they know, they're consumer focused. They know they can Google and search and try to find the best deal. I mean, these are guys who can break out a phone now, scan a barcode while they're standing in a store and find out that it's cheaper two doors down and leave the store and go buy it. The American consumer expects the best deal. So you've got to get beyond that. You've got to make that uh, correlation because we know that when it comes to being a great originator it's not about the best deal it's not about a rate and payment it's about something more but we have to recognize and it's a recognition that's a it's a detail that so many originators overlook and when we do the mountains of research we did at uh, mortgage coach we come to the same conclusion nobody really always realizes that we're defined by what happens before the GFE it was like that in 2006, 2007. We had more demand than we knew what to do with. Calls were coming in. We were <laughs> writing loans with, with nothing. Right? We were just committing on the spot. But today, it's a little bit different. So today, the GFE is now a contract. It's not even a tool that we can really use within the sales process. So what happens during that initial call? That's what we wanted to focus on. The good news for everybody here, and let's not even talk about the industry in general, just the subset of mortgage coach members. And you guys have been doing this a long time. You've had access to TCA and seller buy now. Just last year, 70,000 extra loans, loans that we don't believe would have been originated without mortgage coach, were done because folks like you provided those reports, gave the consumers the insight, and they committed. So good job. But now we need to take that type of document, the, the feedback that everyone here has given. People talk about co-branding. Why, Joe, why don't these documents have the, have the realtor's information on them? People talk about the simplicity of the calculations. Joe, I try, I've got Analyzer. I try to show one of my other loan officers how to use it. They, they, they don't get it. Can you give them some training? Can you, can you do something to show them how to use it? So we were able to recognize at Mortgage Coach when Dave reached out to me that we've done a good job, but we could do better. We had to innovate even more. We had to really push the envelope, make some investments, make some change, forget our old platform. As a technology company, going to the CEO of the company and saying, I know you guys spent a million dollars building this thing just three years ago, but we need to shift our entire focus. That's a tough conversation to have. But when you look at that data, when you look at what's there, and you do the homework, it becomes an obvious answer. So when we talked to hundreds of you, looked at top producers, looked through our 13 years of tech support requests, we were able to figure out what needed to be done. We listened. I think that's part of the reason that Dave and...